Beneath the picturesque coastline of southern Italy, just a few miles from the bustling city of Naples, lurks one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes on Earth, Campi Fligre. Now, after centuries of slumber, this hidden titan has begun to stir. In recent months, hundreds of earthquakes have rattled the region, shaking the ground beneath the feet of millions. Scientists are witnessing a surge in seismic activity, accompanied by unsettling ground uplift, signs eerily reminiscent of the conditions that preceded its last eruption in 1538. Could this be the prelude to an explosive awakening? Or is it just another false alarm in the volatile life of this ancient supervolcano? With Naples and its surrounding towns perched precariously atop this ticking time bomb, the stakes couldn't be higher. If Campi Flagre were to erupt, it wouldn't just be a local disaster. It could trigger climate-altering effects felt across the globe. So, what's really happening beneath the surface? And how close are we to witnessing history repeat itself? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Located near Naples, Italy, Campi Flegre is one of the most geologically active and dangerous supervolcanoes on Earth. Unlike stratovolcanoes that rise as distinct peaks, Campi Flegre is a vast caldera, spanning approximately 13 kilometers in diameter, with numerous craters and fumaroles spread throughout the area. The caldera was formed by multiple explosive eruptions over thousands of years. The most significant of these occurred around 39,000 years ago, known as the Campanian Inimbrite eruption, which was one of the largest known eruptions in Europe's history. This eruption is believed to have contributed to significant climatic changes and even impacted early human populations. The most recent eruption, known as the Monte Nuovo eruption, occurred in 1538 and was a relatively minor event compared to its earlier eruptions. Unlike conventional volcanoes, Campi Flegre does not have a single central vent, but rather a network of fissures and craters spread across the caldera. This complex system allows for the movement of magma, gases, and hydrothermal fluids beneath the surface, making the region highly susceptible to episodes of unrest, including ground deformation and earthquake swarms. In recent months, Campi Flegre has been experiencing significant seismic activity, raising concerns among scientists and local populations. Between February 17th and 23rd, 2025, more than 600 earthquakes were recorded in the region, with the largest reaching a magnitude of 3.2. This follows a broader pattern of increased seismicity, with hundreds of tremors occurring in swarms over the past year. Some of these quakes have reached magnitudes of 3.9 enough to be felt strongly in Naples and the surrounding areas. Alongside the earthquake swarms, there has been measurable ground deformation in the region. As of today, scientists have reported that the ground is rising at a rate of approximately 3 centimeters per month, a trend that appears to be accelerating. This uplift is primarily centered around the town of Pozzuole, which has a long history of experiencing ground deformation due to the movement of magma and hydrothermal fluids beneath the caldera. Ground uplift at Campi Fligre is caused by the inflation of magma chambers and the pressurization of hydrothermal fluids within the subsurface. This process leads to increased stress on surrounding rocks, which ultimately results in fractures and earthquake swarms. However, while ground deformation is a critical indicator of volcanic activity, it does not necessarily mean that an eruption is imminent. Earthquake swarms in volcanic calderas, like Campi Flegre, are often driven by a combination of factors. The movement of magma into shallow reservoirs within the caldera can generate seismic activity as it forces its way through existing rock layers. The heating of underground water and gases can lead to increased pressure within the system, causing fracturing and seismic events. The caldera is located in an area with complex tectonic interactions, including the collision between the African and Eurasian plates, which can contribute to seismic activity. The history of previous eruptions has left the region with weakened geological structures, making it prone to seismic activity even without significant magma movement. 
The interplay of these factors means that earthquake swarms at Campi Flegre do not always indicate an imminent eruption, but rather ongoing geological adjustments beneath the surface. But in this case, no one truly knows what will happen next. Scientists are vigilantly monitoring the volcano, analyzing every tremor to determine whether these earthquakes are routine seismic activity or ominous warning signs of an impending catastrophe. If the current unrest at Campi Flegre leads to an eruption, several scenarios could unfold, ranging from minor to catastrophic. One of the more likely short-term scenarios involves a phreatic eruption a steam-driven explosion that occurs when underground water comes into contact with intensely hot rock, or magma. This sudden heating generates immense pressure, causing a violent release of steam, gases, and rock fragments. While generally localized, these explosions can cause destructive blasts, throwing large rocks over several kilometers, damaging infrastructure, and posing serious threats to people in the vicinity. The sudden nature of these eruptions makes them difficult to predict, adding to the danger. Similar hydrothermal explosions have occurred in Yellowstone and New Zealand's Taupo volcanic zone, causing severe localized damage but without global consequences. A more significant concern is the possibility of a moderate magmatic eruption, leading to an eruption similar in scale to the 1538 Monte Nuovo event the last recorded eruption at Campi Flegre. Signs and triggers of this type of eruption are intense ground deformation, sustained earthquake swarms, and an increase in magmatic gas emissions. This scenario could involve lava flows, ash clouds, and the formation of a new volcanic vent. While the lava would likely move slowly, giving people time to evacuate, the ash fallout could cause significant disruptions. Air travel across Europe could be severely affected, much like what happened with Iceland's volcano eruption in 2010. If this scenario unfolds, the areas most at risk would be Pozzuoli, Bacoli, and parts of Naples, with thousands potentially displaced. However, this type of eruption would not pose a global threat. A worst-case scenario would be a highly explosive eruption similar to the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that buried Pompeii in 79 AD. This scenario would involve the violent expulsion of magma, gas, and volcanic ash, leading to widespread devastation. The impact will include pyroclastic flows, which are deadly, fast-moving avalanches of hot gas and volcanic material that can wipe out entire cities within minutes. Massive ash clouds could blanket Naples and other major cities, collapsing buildings under its weight, contaminating water supplies, and causing respiratory problems. A large-scale eruption could inject vast amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, potentially cooling global temperatures for months or even years, similar to the Mount Tambora eruption in 1815, which led to the year without a summer. This type of eruption would require an immediate mass evacuation of millions, a nearly impossible logistical challenge in a densely populated area. The most extreme and highly unlikely scenario is a full-scale super-eruption on the level of the Campanian in Imbrite event 39,000 years ago, which was one of the largest known eruptions in European history. If this happens, pyroclastic flows could travel dozens of kilometers engulfing Naples, Rome, and beyond. Ashfall could disrupt global food production, similar to the Toba super-eruption 74,000 years ago, which is believed to have caused a severe population bottleneck in early human history. The massive injection of ash and sulfur into the atmosphere could lead to a dramatic global cooling event, reducing temperatures by several degrees and triggering widespread famine. Fortunately, there is no evidence that Campi Flegre is approaching this level of activity anytime soon. However, the possibility of a future super-eruption cannot be entirely ruled out due to the region's history. The recent earthquake swarms and ground deformation at Campi Flegre highlight the ongoing geological unrest within this supervolcano. While there is no immediate indication that an eruption is imminent, the increased seismic activity warrants close monitoring and preparedness.
Understanding the complex dynamics of Caldera systems is crucial in assessing the risks and ensuring the safety of the millions of people living in the region. As scientific research and monitoring efforts continue, authorities must remain vigilant in developing emergency response plans. While Campi Flagre has remained dormant for centuries, its history suggests that future eruptions are possible. The challenge lies in distinguishing between normal geological activity and genuine warning signs of an impending eruption. With continuous advancements in volcanology and technology, researchers are better equipped than ever to study and predict volcanic behavior, offering hope for improved disaster preparedness in the face of an uncertain future.